that I got using a few of the products that I got in my FabFitFun box this quarter, um, transitioning from summer to fall um, with this particular box that I subscribe to is always a great little surprise for me uh, every quarter. Um, so I just wanted to again come on here and do that for you. No, this is not a sponsored video. I pay for this subscription with my own hard-earned money that I work my 9 to 5 to get this stuff. Um, so there's a few really great um, name brands such as Stila as well as uh, a brand new product that is new to me um, for an eyeshadow palette and I'm really loving it. Um, so if you guys like what you're watching, don't forget to hit the subscribe button give me a thumbs up and now I would love to see if people are going to hit that notification bell to see um, my videos come up at least once a week. Um, so again, if you like this look, <laughs> just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start by priming um, my face with the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. I got this from Ulta the other day in a, just like a like a sample thing that they gave out when I was shopping there. So I'm gonna try this out. I've never used it before, but I always hear like really great things. So I'm just gonna squeeze that out. I actually just bought a an eye home vanity mirror so if you see me like looking over here it's because I'm just looking at myself in my my new mirror that I bought um, so what I'm going to do with this is one of the things I got in my fabric fun box it is called the beauty crop glow milk nourishing coconut oil eliminating milk and face face for face and body and it has like a like flex of kind of like a, a more of like a topazy rather than um than like rose gold so i'm just gonna see if it will like blend with my foundation so today for foundation i'm going to be using the the l'oreal true match uh foundation in n3 natural natural buff little Bit of this to the foundation things. Let's see what happens. So I'll be using this um, e.l.f. sponge. I didn't get this in the fit. Oh, I'm just gonna try this on. I'm just gonna apply that on my skin. <laughs> I'm gonna go in for my eyes, and what I'm gonna be using is again something from my <laughs> Fit Fun box. Um, I got this palette. Um, it's from Beauty Bakery, and it's called Proof Is in the Puddin' palette. It's an eyeshadow palette, and it has just a bunch of pretty neutral um, colors here, all um, pudding. <laughs> putting names. Um, I've never used this brand before, um, but it says, are you all talk or do you get things done? The palette with mattes, shimmers, and more is for sweethearts who need that final push to, fi to finally be who, be who they believe they can and do the very thing they're afraid of. Totally me. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to first go in um, with this um, Morphe Morphe JH30 brush, and I'm actually gonna go in, let's go in with this bread pudding shade, which is just kind of like peachy, new transition shade. I'm just gonna apply that to just the crease area. It's a little darker on my skin than it is, than it does show up in the pan. So it's a lot lighter looking in the pan than it is on my eye. So it just comes up a little darker. Okay. Uh, 
now I'm going to go in with this Jaclyn Hill 33 um, brush. Sorry, it's a little dirty. I'm going to go in with this warm cocoa color, which is kind of looks like a reddy brown color. I'm going to go right in to the outer crease and just going back and forth right into the crease. This mango put in with on let's go back in with that fluffy brush from before that um, N30 or J H30 brush I'm gonna just lightly pick that up just like orangey color I'm gonna stay on the outside and blend out those two together <laughs> this chai put in it's a shimmery color I'm gonna do that all over my lid oh that's nice it's like really pigmented and it's really um really orange a really orange shimmer probably should have swatched these before I did this but that's okay Yeah, these are really pigmented shimmers for sure. You don't need a lot. You don't, have, don't even need a lot to pick up, and it's on there. Nice. Uh, I am gonna do my eyebrows off camera. What I will be using for my eyebrows is my e.l.f. Um, Ultra Precise Brow Pencil, and I will be um, setting that with, again, I got this in my Fabric Bum Box, which is the Anastasia Clear, Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. All so right, now that my eyebrows are done, I'm just going to do some cleanup, and I'm going to be using um, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in uh, 11 Vanilla. set my under eye with the Makeup by Megan, Makeup by Megan uh, Tiffany powder. All right, I'm going to go um, back to that Proof is in the Put-In Palette, and I'm going to pick up that Warm Cocoa color on a JH40 brush by Morphe. I'm just going to blend that over the bottom lash line. Okay. I'm gonna go back on that same brush and I'm just gonna pick up that chai pudding color and just go on the inner corner just to connect that top lid to the bottom.
Alright, um, another thing from my Fabric Found Box is this Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner in Intense Black. Last from my fabric phone box is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash um, Mascara with, um, oh, just Extreme Mascara. <laughs> I'm going, going to start with the Estee Lauder uh, Bronze Goddess. the Estee Lauder um, Pure Color Envy Sculpting Sculpting Blush in Pink Kiss. Um, it is in one of like the little sample palettes. I've had this for like maybe a year now. I'm just going to apply that with a blush brush to the high parts of my cheek going up. Highlight the face, the Elf Multi Dimensional Face and Body Shimmer in. I'm just gonna do on the same brush. I'm just gonna pounce it a bit and then just hit it. I really like this one. All right, I'm gonna go in for, lastly, with my lips, I'm going to be using um, the NYX liner in uh, Peekaboo 860. I'm just gonna line my lips with that. For my lip color, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Melt Matte uh, Liquid Matte Long Wearing Lipstick in um, Social Fatigue. Orangey Red Brown, which really brings out the orange from that. Proof is in the pudding Final 
look. Again, using a bunch of new products that I got from my quarterly subscription to the FabFitFun uh, box. Um, a lot of great products at a really affordable quarterly price and um, it's really something that I look forward to for every change of the season. Um, so again, if you like this look, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Throw me some comments because you know I love the love. And until next time, I'll see you next time.